everyone. I've been reading so much lately about the importance of gardening as we try and get our children excited about eating fruits and vegetables. So I invited master gardener Rita Bottini to join us today and I wanted to ask her, Rita, did you plant plants like this with your children when they were growing up? Yes, I did. And did you find that it made them more willing to try these different foods? I, I do believe it did. And I also worked with lots of school children. We grew our own salads. Oh, wow. And many of the children that I worked with over the years participated in eating their first salad oh, wow. from the school garden. Oh, nice. Is it difficult to grow something like this? No, it's very easy. There are lots of seeds out there on the market that pretty much give gardeners all the information that they would need to grow a specific plant. Will so, you show us how I would plant something like that? Because that smells so good. It yeah. makes me want to cook a nice pasta dish. This is an Italian basil that is I'm just wonderful. Oh, it's let me very smell. fragrant. Mm, that's and amazing. A simple pot like this? Mm -hmm. okay. pot. with some potting soil. You can just simply fill the pot with a light potting mix. The potting mix, I'm going to go for the hands. Okay. The potting mix is slightly damp. You don't want to use a bone dry mix to start out. And you'll see that I'm going to tap it down a little bit. You want it to be able to breathe. Right. Okay. Just a little, a little bit firm, but not too tight. Okay. And we'll set that aside. And now we'll go to our seed packet. And what I was mentioning about the seed packet is it will tell you the appropriate time of year depends on where you live. Okay. Basil is an annual warm season plant, so it wants to be out in the garden in the summer. Okay. But we can grow this inside under bright warm conditions in our homes on the windowsill. Okay. Do I, I need some too or do you have enough? I have for both enough of us? for both okay. of us. And if you look at these seeds, they're very small. Oh yeah. As opposed to perhaps the seed of a pea. Oh right. Okay. So the size of the seed determines planting depth okay. to a degree. Some plants don't even get covered at all. Oh. This pea seed would go half an inch to an inch deep. Okay. So this would be a very easy seed to plant mm -hmm. with a small child. But the basil seed is going to be covered about one quarter inch deep. So very shallow, right? Very shallow. Okay. Okay, so what I do is I usually take a little pinch of seeds so we'll just kind of sprinkle those with a little bit of distance between them. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you get too many, you can hand the child the scissors after they germinate. Okay. And they can come snip little micro basil and put it on their pasta oh, or nice. whatever it is that they're eating at the dinner table. And now we'll just go back to our potting mix and we're just going to take a small pinch and just lightly cover those seeds. Just very gently cover those seeds. My, my instinct is to tap it down now. Am I allowed to do that or not? No. Oh, <laughs> see, I learned something. <laughs> so with little bitty seeds, if we put too much pressure on them, it's going to sink the seed lower than okay. our intended planting depth. So I have a tag. Thank you. It notes that it's basil okay. and what variety and the date. Now back to the seed packet. When we look at the seed packet again, it has information as to how long we should expect the seed to stay in the soil and then germinate. So this seed should come up in five to 10 days, which is why we want to note the date. Okay, what about watering? Do we have to water it? We do, so now we've planted you could use just a, a simple spray, spray bottle. bottle and you would water this really gently, making sure that you have thoroughly moistened this. Okay. So okay. after care of the plant is very important. Okay, so this, especially for the very tiny seeds, uh -huh. like we just planted, if you're a very busy person and you put this on your counter and the sun is shining in the window and you go away, what's going to happen? It'll dry out. It'll dry out the surface will dry out. That's where the seeds are. Oh, they're, right. they're very close to the right. surface. So for small seeded plants, I recommend putting a little oh, plastic like wrap over the top, make it like a little greenhouse. Once you've got that done, you're going to check and make sure that it doesn't dry out. And in a week or so, you should see the little seed leaves come up. 
They're not the true leaves. These are not the true leaves of the spinach. The true leaves are just beginning to emerge down here in the middle. Once you see your seed has germinated, you must remove the plastic okay. wrap. Okay. Otherwise, they'll rot. Excellent. Okay. This looks so easy, so much easier than I thought. Well, Maya, I hope it is, and I hope that this will grow for you and your children. Thank you so much okay. for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks, Rita. Thank you.